Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 3. We're back to our regular sober gameplay after the last couple of episodes of Drunken Hijinks. Uh, just as a reminder, we've pushed ourselves up to Torment 9, which is a little bit crazy because we're basically a glass cannon. Nevertheless, it's going well. Uh, we're leveling up very quickly, so let's have a look at what we need to do. Gem to 25 and set dungeon. Well, if I remember rightly, the Marauder Set Dungeon is actually a relatively easy one to do. So let's start off with that. Uh, I think we need to go to Act 3, Bridge of Corsic. And then we're heading up near that trebuchet thing. Okay, so it's actually started as sort of in the right area. Um, Yeah, uh, so the other thing I wanted to go through very quickly was our equipment. Uh, we're currently using five pieces of the Marauder and one piece of Natalia's because we've got that Ring of Raw Grandeur in the cube. Ring of Raw Grandeur in, Frostburn in, Ramps of Clarity. We we got so lucky at the end of the last thing. We still need Zoe's Secret and we still need uh, Natalia's Slayer and we still need to get uh, Natalia's Ring and the Compass Rose and uh, Traveller's Pledge. Uh, but other than that, there's not a huge amount that we really need to swap out. Um, when we get to the two next pieces of Natalia's, we'll probably switch over the remaining gear. Three pieces of Natalia's. Three more pieces of Nat One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, three pieces of Natalia's will do. Because we've got two at the moment, we need five. But they, it specifically has to be the bow and the ring and then something else that we haven't already got. Anyway, I digress. I digress. We're supposed to be going to the Bridge of Corsic. Now, as a reminder, everything is dangerous for us. Super, super nasty. We're not doing... The uh, uh, bounties. We are just focusing on getting to that trebuchet in the center and then looking for where the entrance to the set dungeon is. And, you know, dodging everything. Oh my god, there's so many of these. Let's get out of that for a moment. Get some fish on you guys. Take me a moment to get back in the swing of it. It's amazing how things can flow really well when you're not really thinking about them and you just get in the habit. But as soon as you stop, there we go. That's where we're going. So let's just make sure that nothing's going to sneak up on us in between attempts because that would be terrible like we come out we let our guard down for a moment and uh, and get murdered for it of course because we've got frostburn in the cube now we've got lovely freeze effects happening on mobs uh, that's super super awesome okay so Kill 140 enemies with three or more sentries. I dislike. So much dislike. Right, let's have a look again. 140 enemies with three or more sentries active. Don't allow enemies into melee range. Okay, let's give it a go. One, two, three. We've got a lot of time to do this as well. So we just need to be sensible. I wonder if there's uh, things that are going to come out of the ground. I 
I suppose if you didn't have Bombardier's Rucksack, this might be a bit more... Di yeah, there's stuff coming out the ground. Right, that's what we've got to watch for. That's all right. We can totally manage dodging some of those. That's why we have vault. Oh, geez, that was a bit close. Do not vault forwards, Alex. That's how you get yourself killed. This is a point where Cormac's actually going to be really helping us out with some of these bits. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go around vaguely logically and make sure we're covering all the points. Okay, just got 98 mobs left to find. That's another one that's going to come out. Oh, what? There was no enemy in... Right, we're going to try this again. Um... <sighs> that was going really well. Let's put these points in. I reckon I could probably move a bit faster as well. One, two, three. Certainly now I know the path through. No, I will not do that. Yeah, I saw you coming a mile off, mate. They're trying. They're really trying. I don't think there'll be anything up here. No. So back we come. Popping them all out. Look at this. This is going even faster than before. Mostly I'm watching the mini map to watch for those guys. We 
Okay, just 27 mobs left to find. Those ground things. I love that they go after the turrets. That makes things a hell of a lot easier. Four mobs. There's one. That's two. So hopefully the last two are just along this little bit here. There's, there we go. Not only did we complete it, but that is mastered. Lovely stuff. Let's uh, let's head back to town. Needless to say, extra points there. Um, right, so for the moment, uh, we do have that convention of elements. We may as well put Enforcer in over here, because uh, we can work on leveling this up, and it is going to improve the damage of our pets. Uh, pets count as uh, our turrets. Of course. Um, I think we're just going to spend the rest of the episode running rifts. And uh, fingers crossed we'll get some good drops from this. Now it doesn't matter if things get into melee range. I mean, obviously we'd rather that they didn't, but uh, we don't need to, to worry about dying. And this actually just makes the entire thing so much easier. Getting so much experience also is going to help refresh all of our resources constantly. Ton of death breath, so we can try upgrading items either for Natalia's set or for Zoe's secret. So probably the next thing for us to upgrade is going to be rings, because there's there's two rings that we need, uh, Natalia's and. Uh, the uh, compass rose. Let's throw some fish on this thing. Ooh, helmet. Hello. I'm not really vaulting around much because I'm still very aware we're a glass cannon. Painfully aware. But I very much love our mobility. We are so much more mobile than other characters. down here. Oh, Challenge Pollen, that basically is free reign for us to just go crazy. Resource costs, what are those? This needs charge? Of course it does. We've got a bajillion charges. Got to get somewhere in a hurry. Vault, 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 vault. It is now over because the uh, pylon has run out. Ow. My word, that explosion was very painful.
How's Cormac doing? He's still alive, yeah. That is surprising in a way, and also encouraging in another. I don't know if that just means we're like blitzing through everything so fast he's not having a chance to die. Or if he's actually sort of holding his own with the bits around us. Ah, oh, so... I was going to say, so close to Rift Guardian time. That took all of our resources, so this is probably the upper end of what we can just do in one go without some more damage. Still pretty damn awesome. For a regular rift, I'd say that's uh, that's alright. Uh, let's ID this. We'll put those levels in and then we'll do a greater rift. Visit of goons! Holding on to that, for sure. Well, for now, anyway. Uh, vengeance gets the effect of the Dark Heart Breed. It's nice. It's nice. Definitely a candidate for the cube if we were doing a different build. Uh, but not right now, of course. Salvage, salvage, salvage. And uh, let's let's hop into a greater rift. We'll do a bunch first, and then we'll do some gambling and things. We've got the money to empower it, so there's no reason not to. I wish you yeah, vaguely safe entrance area. Power pylon. I'm trying to keep at least one turret out with us as we progress. So I've got a little bit of fire support. Now, just a reminder, it does look like this is really, really easy for us. But that's just because we're being very tactical about how we move. Even just things like that poison can change slash end the game for us. So we're relying entirely on just, you know, playing keep away. No elites in here yet. Very unusual. Well, get some more hatred then, you know, get the bird to peck your eye or, or something. Can't do it. Conduit, of course, is a little bit less useful for us because we're not really getting up close and personal with most of these. But it's still nice. Okay, third and maybe final area. Fresh resources. Who needs to regenerate hatred when you can just level up? Shield pile and brilliant. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ah, there's some elites. We've still got that shield. Good. Let's focus on that for the moment. Automatic. That went pretty well. Oh, boat belt. That belt might be Zoe's secret if we're lucky. We'd have to be really lucky, but you never know. Let's get it IDing while we are upgrading Enforcer. Arrington. Yeah. Not great for us, but uh, certainly not terrible. We so we're up to one four four. We've gained so many levels this episode already. It's pretty unbelievable. Um, let's just check these. Yeah, none of those are rankable. So Harrington, you're coming across. Two, 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 and one. Nine levels that got us. Jeez. Let's do it again. Uh, oh, we don't actually have a greater with Keystone. All right, let's, uh, let's sell our stuff. And then we'll do some upgrades. Or do some gambling, I should say. In fact, upgrades. 24 death breaths. Yeah, can't do any of those. So, Kadala, let's talk about rings. Elusive ring, I like it. We're definitely going to keep it. Um, Progar's huge stone, we're not going to. <laughs> just, we'll just throw it away now and pretend we never saw it. And then jump in for another rift. Yeah, I actually do need these turrets down if I'm going to have any form of damage that I put out. Pay attention, 007. Grab all of that lovely loot. More death press, great. So we've definitely got enough to do an upgrade. Poison was painful. So one thing I'm not really doing much of at the moment is um, dropping the, uh, the beastie from the sky. Um, I'm going to have to get in the habit of doing that constantly uh, because that's going to be adding it to our damage reduction and obviously our damage increase once we start using Natalia's set. Another level up coming. There we go. That is a helm. Ah. Pointy ears, we've already got one of those. There's a goblin of some kind in here. Let's explode all of these fools. He's already started running. Not very far, though. Quite a mighty adversary, yeah. Ooh, that's a lot of poison. Grab all this. Let's 
push on. I was trying to save up my um, charges so that we could just jump straight in with three over here. We need more um, cooldown reduction so the turret charges come back faster. And more resource cost reduction so they don't cost as much for us to put out. We basically need a permanent channeling pilot. That's that's what we need. I don't think that's too much to ask for. Not in this game. And I've joked before in the past about power creep, but that would be the ultimate in power creep. I don't know how that would end up getting balanced. Or or perhaps I should say I dread to think how that would get balanced. Hello, you. Hiding in the back there. Oh, we're full already. That is a bit of a surprise. Uh, let's, let's head back temporarily then and uh, ID these things. Make a little bit of space. May as well put our levels in while we're here, actually. One, two, three. Odyssey's end. It's, it's a bow. It's a bow. So that can go over there. This can come next to the other. We might uh, re-roll it into another part of the unhallowed gear. One turret down. It's not as many as I'd like, but we can still do worthwhile stuff with just a couple of turrets. There we go. Three's a reasonable number. Three gives us the uh, the damage boost that we need to start doing proper proper work. open all the chests. I'd really love to kill some of the larger larger demons and see what kind of loot they would have. Grab this and the speed pylon. Still got five turrets, they're just elsewhere. But I figured seeing as we're approaching... Nah, I'll put one more down. But seeing as we were sort of approaching the end, I figured it'd be a reasonable time to start saving up our charges for the next area. Here we go. Rift Guardian, awesome. Oop, hello. Two great rift keystones, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Alright, let's uh, head back, hand this in, and we'll try upgrading a ring. So. Upgrade rare item. There's a ring. We've got 39. Justice Lantern. That is a terrible ring for us. You have it. Jeez. Yeah, that is a not brilliant ring. Okay, um, 
Kadala, can you can you do better, please? Another Rogar's huge stone, and uh, okay, that broken promises. What's our critical chance? It's thirty-seven and a half percent. So we're never going to get to use broken promises uh, in that situation. So that one goes in here. We've already got Rogars, so that'll get salvaged up. But yeah, it's it's still pretty cool that we're getting decentish items, even if we're not able to particularly use them. All right. Two greater of keystones. Let's uh, let's push a little bit higher, actually. Your power. Everything's dangerous for us anyway, so pushing higher doesn't really change things that much. Okay, he's actually dead. No thank you, I'm not being fixed in place while all that's going on. It's a terrible idea. weren't expecting me to come back at them from this side. Okay. Secure. Yeah, this is definitely more concerning because we know that those uh, succubi do a lot of damage with their ranged stuff and that just gradually increases. Um, oh, channeling, yeah. So we're just going into monster mode with the channeling pilot. And it's run out. But we did pretty monumental stuff while that was still on. Anything around this side? Let's get a fish on you. Haven't had fish in a while. And uh, on to the next level. Shielding. Shielding is always a concern, but if you put enough damage out, uh, especially if it's AoE damage. Uh, then everything else is going to die anyway. It's amazing how different this is to um, last season's Crusader. I mean, it's still trying to be a ranged, um, ranged one, but Crusader didn't mind getting up close and personal, where we're specifically trying to get these turrets down in a position where they're drawing rather than us. Still got that shield for a bit. Finally got four turrets down in this area. But we are we are monstering through this. Right, that's the fifth one. Grab all of that. Power pylon. Cool. Uh, 
And it's almost Rift Guardian time. Uh, let's go up this way. Oh, that'll be easily enough to summon the Rift Guardian. Bang! Oh my word. Lots of things. Lots of things. Let's have a look at our gem upgrades. So, of course, this is going on the Enforcer. It makes sense for us to use Enforcer because we are planning on the sentries doing most of the work for us. I need to go back. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. I was hoping for something other than a chest piece, but uh, we can always do re-rolling. We'll put our levels in. Three, two, two, two. So, bottomless potion of the unfettered. Sure. I mean, it's a, it's a start. Carly's point. Damage of impaled is increased and returns hatred if it hits something already impaled. We're definitely holding on to that. Shard of hate, don't care. Gang don't care. Natalia's chest. Let's try and re-roll this into something else. Convert set item. Don't give me the helmet. Natalia's Slayer. If we switch over to it, we're going to lose quite a significant amount of damage. We can re-roll that life per hit. Choices, choices. Let's, uh, let's not use it just yet. But it is one more bit. So we still need the ring. And one more piece and then we can switch across. That's what we'll do. Uh, Wreath of Lightning, that's going to go in here, of course. Shard of Hate, yeah, we'll keep that. Uskang, that's going to get salvaged. And let's hop on in for another Rift. And then we'll talk to Kadala afterwards. Uh, so this is going to go all the way up to Torment 10. Oh, what a terrible map. And losing 18% damage effectively is what it would be. Is quite a lot. If it was if it was less, if it was like 10%, then I might I might be like sure we'll change over to it now, but Why do we have to have such a good temporary weapon? Okay, this is not super fast, but uh, that's mostly because we haven't found many... Uh, many elites. He says, walking straight into melee range with a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Once again, I need to improve my awareness. You could say that about any game I play, though. Like, paying attention? Nah. It's not something we need to do. Now, was there a secondary... Oh, there was, right. Pretty solid clean out session there. Oh, 
Come on, get the elites gone. Let's get some fish on them, actually. No, it didn't actually trigger. That's a shame. takes is the right map layout with a bunch of stuff to kill a bunch of elites and the speed picks up again Interesting through here. Over this side a little bit. Grab those. Let's push on. Only got two turrets down, so our damage isn't maxed out yet. That's number three. Channeling. is right. Even got fish coming in from off the side there. We've got a belt, we've got a sword, we've got an amulet and Legacy of Dreams, the new legendary gem. You have a gem? Oh look at that, it's pretty. That's awesome. I like the fact that it affects all uh, legendary items rather than just ancient items. That's very cool. It can get up to 99 ranks. I am returning to town. Okay, well, we'll hand this in. Uh, we'll talk to Kadala. Because we know we're going to need rings. Oh, that was a little disappointing that time. We'll put our levels in. So, Fulminator, sure. Razor Strop, yeah. Halcyon's Ascent, yeah. Legacy of Dreams, you're coming over here. Uh, the rest is all going to get salvaged up. And then we'll do another regular because we'll be out of greater of keystones. This we can't actually extract, so as cool as it is, I'm not even going to wear it. And I know that it could have been better than that, but it's it's just not worth it. We'll find something better. We'll do something better. And it's just it's just the losing the damage that's really I don't want to lose the damage if I'm not going to get any benefit okay well we can we can survive torment 10 so let's put it up to torment 10 because that was a torment 10 great rift we did Probably should have waited for more charges. Ow. But with these ones, we're not under any rush, so... Well, 
while we're here, we may as well loot everything we can as well. Definitely safer. An amulet. All right, let's have a look at this one. A robberus. Yeah, that's an improvement. We lose a tiny bit in damage, but actually, yeah, that means it's not an improvement. Our, our current one with that plus to cold damage really is just excellent. Challenge Pylon. Everything does have a lot more health, but that Channeling Pylon just let us hammer through all of it. I mean, for us, our damage output is, is pretty spot on. It's the turrets that are struggling a little bit now. Tiny bit more cautiously. The Rift Guardian, of course, is going to be dangerous as well. Let's get fish in on this. Grab all of that. Anything down here? Yep. Periodically, of course, the convention of elements will be ticking around and we'll be getting a butt ton of extra damage output. Um, which is why sometimes it, it feels inconsistent in what we're doing. Um, you just have to remember that, uh, that when that thing ticks around onto cold, uh, we're going to be doing a lot more. So straight after physical, it goes on to cold. Of course, it's always when I'm just out of combat. Certainly for the moment, it's worth paying attention to for the Rift Guardian, because if I spend all my um, hatred on the physical one, I could have waited just a fraction of a second and got like three, four times the damage from it. Three times the damage because it increases it by 199% for me. Okay, final area, almost certainly.
try to hit as much as possible while it's all that cold. And it was enough. Whew. Always a little bit dangerous doing that. I need to go back. Hey, will you look at that? We got ourselves a crown. Okay, hand that in with Auric. Let's pop to the IDing stand. Put our levels in. So, Leoric's crown, you are wonderful, but not right now. A robberus, we're just going to end up salvaging up. In fact, can we can we give you a robberus? No. Because it's going to reduce your damage, so we won't even bother. Now, what I should do is I should have a level 1 uh, strength-based character so I can roll stuff up for Cormac. Uh, that'll be secondary after I've done everything for myself. Like, me first, me first, me first, and then we'll think about him. Such a brave soul. Uh, let's, uh, let's very quickly blitz through another one of these. And then we'll uh, talk to Kadala before we finish. Caught on a corner. Okay. Turrets coming out. Amazing the damage difference when Convention of Elements kicks in. Channeling Pollen, you know what that means, everyone. goes so quickly but we do get to monster through everything while it's on so it's funny while it's on my uh, my key habits change massively because at the moment I'm mostly walk along do a bit of evasive fire do a bit of evasive fire and then periodically I'll put a turret down and do some like mass killing with cluster arrow as we get better resource management, that's going to change over time. And because of that, when I get those uh, channeling pylons, I just instantly switch to what I'm assuming will be most of my end game key presses. We have so got this. Come on. 
Come on, give me, give me the hatred for that big ass group. This is a terrible place to fight with Guardian. Ow! No, I want less. I want significantly less. Helm, ring, cloak, chest armor, simplicity, strength. Not the right kind of ring, but uh, I'll still take a look at it. And this is really close to being finished. And that's another Marauder's helmet. So, very quickly, over here, rings. Don't forget, yeah. Uh, we don't have enough death threats to do any upgrades, so let's just get these ID'd. And we'll put our levels in. I can't believe we've got up to Garrigan level 180. In the time we've been playing today. Another Marauder's Visit? Sure, why not? A, a Unity? Took us so long to find just a couple of those last season. Cloak of the Garwolf. We get three wolves. And gold skin, of course. Alright, well, that's going to be a good point for us to finish this episode off. Uh, we did a little bit. We did the set dungeon. And, of course, we've got this almost up to rank 24. One more rank. And that will finish off our Slayer objectives. Uh, moving on to Champion. We've already got 4 out of 10 of these done. Um, so, yeah, 6 minute uh, Torment 10 Rift is probably going to be the next thing we tick off on that. Uh, then we could do Key Wardens again and come back and do them at Torment 10. That would be fun. But I might, might wait until we've got the um, Zoe Secret Belt just for sanity's sake. Or, or a little bit more Natalia stuff. Either way, that's that's going to be decisions for future Alex to make. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying it. If you are enjoying this, uh, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so. And you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for some more Diablo 3. See you soon.